fire and fury. The explosive new book about the Trump White House just went on sale, and it is now sold out just about everywhere. But Nightbeat's Andrea Nakano got her hands on a copy tonight. It's extremely difficult to get your hands on this book. Fire and Fury Inside the Trump White House has created quite a buzz. Most bookstores don't even have a single copy on their shelves. In fact, this one is already prepaid, waiting to be picked up. So here you go. You get the right. you're the lucky man. Thank you, thank you. Michael Bosch pre-ordered and got the book. Many in America are anxious to read. I think it'll be entertaining reading, to say the least. Bookstores across America are completely sold out, including Book Passage in Corte Madera. The book has also broken the waitlist record at the San Francisco Public Library. More than 900 people have it on hold. I've been in the book business 41 years. I've never seen anything like this. Ever since excerpts from this book hit the airwaves and social media, many have been curious to get an inside look at the first year of Donald Trump's presidency. The big discussion seems to be, is is he mentally capable of, uh, of handling this job? And that was my concern a year ago, and it's more of a concern today. Well, when I have my dinner break tonight, I am going to try not to spill soup on someone's <laughs> book, and I'm going to pick another peek at it. That's what I did at lunch, and it was fun. President Trump's lawyers tried to stop the book from hitting the shelves. They sent out a cease and desist letter to the author, Michael Wolff, and the publisher to stop the publication, claiming portions of the book were defamatory. Instead, the publisher moved up the release date to today, which led to stores not having enough copies to meet the demand. What President Trump may have done is created more of a frenzy over a book he didn't want the public to see. We were actually cheering when they said, let's sell it now because everybody wants it now. Since the original release date was next Tuesday, more shipments should be coming in Monday and throughout next week. If you would like a copy, though, the advice is to pre-order. In Corte Madera, Andrea Nakano on the Night Beat. Tonight, President Trump tweeted, quote, Michael Wolf is a total loser who made up stories in order to sell this really boring and untruthful book. He used sloppy Steve Bannon, who cried when he got fired and begged for his job. Now sloppy Steve has been dumped like a dog by almost everyone. Too bad.